Hey there, roguelike fans. What is up? Um, it's been... It's been almost ten months since we deviated, slash abandoned, well not abandoned, we're back, deviated from our 2011 seven-day roguelike challenge re-exploration. Where are they now? Here's one right here. Um, next up should be Vicious Orcs, but uh, here's the deal. Vicious Orcs only runs on my old computer, and my old computer rests in a position where it causes great physical discomfort for me to use it, so I will use it eventually to play Vicious Orcs, which is an awesome game. I've already played it once. Um, but uh, not tonight. I'm in various forms of pain because I'm old and broken. Um, instead, I went searching. I did another deep, deep-ass dive. I'm sorry, my cord is rustling here. Um, deep, deep-ass dive into the forgotten corners of the interwebs and dug a game out that was lost. Uh, the Archive RL actually has a copy, sort of, of Devil Might Laugh, which we're looking at right here. Um, and I grabbed it out of the Archive RL and thought, great, I've got it, I'll fire it up. But unfortunately, all they have is the source code, so I'm going to have to pass to Akeley at the Archive RL um, the Windows version of the 7-Day Roguelike Challenge of Devil Might Laugh that I just found using sorcerous means. I'm pretty pleased with myself. It does not come with any kind of manual. Um, I was able to look at a few people's um, reviews from 10 years ago that uh, talk about it, so I know the basic gist of it. But I think we'll uh, we'll figure most of it out as we go. So let's. Um, I, I played it for like 30 seconds, enough to see that it worked. Uh, one word of warning: I will I will provide you a link to where you can find this. Um, I'll also pass it on to the archive RL, so hopefully you'll be able to find it in there eventually, but not yet. Um, but when I fired it up, it gave me like a little warning text popped up saying um, you have to have a window at least 36 high or something, 30, 30, 86 by 36 or something like that, 82 by 36. And my it, it came instinctively set to or automatically set to 120 by 30. So you have to manually adjust the window size by right clicking at the top and setting the window to be at least 36, I think it was, um, or 32 or something. Whatever number it tells you to do, do it, and then the game works. Here we are. Devil Might Laugh, a 7DRL version 1, year 2011 by Nikolaus. Um, that's the only name I got here, Nikolaus. Devil Might Laugh. Uh, capitalized Might. Asterisk Capitalized Might here. Alright, let's enter our name. Let's be Jeff. On account of that's my name. The apocalypse has come. And the world has ended with all the fire, plagues, wars, riders, trumpets, and judgment. That's hitting a little close to home in 2021, isn't it? You, a filthy non-believer, have been sent to hell. Also close to home. <laughs> your soul has been condemned and cursed for all eternity, and your body erased out of existence. Now the eternity has passed, and after being burned, tortured, boiled, and tormented, you decided that you've had it, and decided to leave this place once and forever. You just need an opportunity, which now has come. Let's hit a key. Here we are. All the cards are gone. Quick, out of the cauldron. Um, and and this little word down here, I don't know if you can see my cursor or not. I have no idea. Maybe I can check that. Can you? No, I don't know if you can or not. Yeah, is it aligned? Let me see if mine's aligned with yours. Yeah, this little word down here. Um, I don't know if that was like the beginning of the word wield, and it got partially erased. Or if it's like German for the word the, V, 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 V means like in German, doesn't it? V scheisse. Um, all the guards are gone, quick out of the cauldron. I don't know. I'm just saying I see that word. Now you have to hit a key again just to, uh, to get the, the game to wake up. Wake up, game. There we go. Here we go. Um, so here we are. We are the little at symbol uh, somewhere on this page. I don't see us. Let's try the L. Let's try the question mark. That does work. Movement, arrow keys, comma, numpad. Go upstairs is up. It looks like there's no downstairs, which is good. We're trying to ascend out of hell, it looks like, not descend further. Pick up is G for get, D for drop, L for look around, space to stop. Uh, that means, like, to stop looking around, you press space. And quit is, like, a capital Q, I'm guessing. All right, um, one other thing I learned from a uh, review, and it holds true, if we press L to look, um, even though the numpad works for movement, it doesn't work for the look. You have to use the little arrow keys on your keyboard for this. So here we go. You see a big pile of skulls. Here's a cauldron. No, it's us. I think we're still in a cauldron. An oil bath. A corpse. 
a burning cross. We are like in KKK hell, apparently. This is fucking awful. Um, floor. That's at least okay. And let's so see. You can't uh, you can't move the uh, cur the look cursor through this little hole in the ground. It might be a pit or something. I don't know. But you can't you can't move your cursor over it. And stairs, which I assume is where we're heading. There's nothing here that I can see. Well, lava. Nothing here I can see that we want. I, I assume we're just trying to get the frack out of hell. And to me, going up would seem the most direct route. So let's. Um, where the hell are we? Here we are. Uh, how the hell do I get there? Okay, like this, like this, like this. Should we at least? Let us, well, I think you've seen the whole room now. That's it. That's the room. Let's try going up. You go upstairs. As you go higher, you regain some more of your humanity. This place is like a, a, la a labyrinth with a weird, weird spelling of the word labyrinth. More. Red lights flash around you, and you hear an alarm. It seems you'll have to fight your way out. Do we have a weapon? I don't think so. I doesn't work. I already confirmed that before. What is this little um and sa sign here? And a oh Jesus Christ. Does that mean like an electric chair, or does it mean something much more horrible? Um, an imp. All right, we know what that is. An enemy. Um, we don't seem to have a uh, a weapon. What is this bracket over here? Maybe that's a a spoon. I mean, fuck, is that a weapon? I don't know. Like, here's the stairs over here. Do we fight our way towards the stairs to get the hell out, or do we fight our way towards the spoon because that's better than nothing? I'm gonna say spoon, and we're gonna avoid those. We're not even gonna look too closely at those chairs. All right, let's try and go northwest, if we can. All right, let's fight this guy. I attack the imp. I attack the imp. Imp dies. Not even the imp. I attack imp. I'm wielding unarmed. Oh, it was being a wield. There you go. Uh, level one, we are on. There's a five above the one, which may be our health. Let's keep an eye on that number. It's not going down, thank God. Imp steps into lava and is burned. Imp dies. Let's just be careful with that lava. That's the equal sign, correct? Let me just confirm this. Yup. Space. Alright, let's go north. You attack Imp, Imp attacks you. Oh yeah, our, our number five went down to four, so I'm, your spirit is weakened. I'm guessing that means we got hurt, and that and the five is our health. I'm guessing it was. Our, our, the former five was our health. I don't want to cross this lava. We don't have to. We can walk through burning crosses. Get. You picked up spoon. Your spirit is weakened. Wield. Oh, I'm mathematically wielding it. There you go. All right, killed the imps. We saw the stairs to the northeast. Let's try and... Oh, here's an arrow right here. Jeez. Let's take a look around first before we go. I don't want to fight anything else if we don't have to. Maybe let's go. Let's try and go up one. We're already 40% dead. As you go higher, you regain some of your humanity. Oh, look at that! Our health climbed from 3 to 13. It looks like every time we go up, we get more health. That's interesting, isn't it? Um, lots of lava to the northeast. Let me move this... Um, this this uh, screen a bit, and I might be able to s I might be able to personally see the game a bit bigger if I watch in my OBS window because the window is not precisely gigantic. I could probably make it bigger for myself, but um, I didn't before I started recording, and I don't want to mess with the recording, so I'll do that for myself later. Staircase I can see. Are we just are we just fucking diving for the stairs? I guess it's the reverse of diving. Are we ascending for the stairs? I am. I don't know about you. Catch me if you can. Catch me outside. How about that? That's what I say to the imps as I go out of hell. What's the big capital I? Oh, that's that's devil. I wonder if that's the devil or or just a devil. It just occurred to me now what a what a missed opportunity roguelikes had in not making the your, yourself represented by a capital I. That would have made sense, right? If the I was I. If you agree, say I. Look at our health now, by the way. Oh, there's a second devil, so I'm get. Oh, there's a weapon of some sort, maybe. That's just another spoon. I don't care about that. Oh, what is this thing? A button. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come on. 
Um, <laughs> this reminds me of another... There was another 2011 seven-day roguelike we played called Puzzle Quest that was very, very crude. Uh, this seems much more... Much more. Com- I was going to say no offense, Puzzle Quest people, but you know what? Offense, Puzzle Quest people. It seems much more competent, but... Um, but equally crude. I, I, I'm assuming the piked dildo is better than the spoon for a weapon. Then again, there's a freaking devil there. Let's try and get past it. To get that... Oh, we didn't have to press G. Our spirit is weakened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's run away from these guys. Oh, I haven't seen the stairs yet. Devil dies. What's this one? Another one. I'm assuming we don't need two. Oh, we're still using a freaking... Oh, maybe that's not a weapon. Maybe you can't pick that up. Do you think? Does that look like an object to you? And... and the word pike to me implies a weapon. I thought I pressed G on it. Should I go should I go try and G it again? G. Yeah, okay, I got it. A spiked dildo two maybe the bracketed two means how much damage it does? A devil dies. I think this I think the spoon said bracket one, but I'm not sure. If so, then bravo for this game for actually delineating what is specifically a better weapon as opposed to leaving it to our guesswork. I hate it when games do that. What is that uh, little um, trap-like thing up there? Big pile of skulls. I guess we need that. Not seeing the stairs as of yet. That's always a spoon, it looks like, so that's good. We don't have to keep looking at it. I can walk through the skulls, can't I? Is this anything to worry about? Bloody floor, that's okay. I like the theme of this one. I mean, I don't like the... excessive crudity for the sake of crudity, but I like the theme of it in general. There was, um... Years ago, I remember seeing uh, novels in the in the bookstore, like fantasy sci-fi novels, about people escaping from hell. And it always looked there was like a series, and it always looked really good to me. But I never uh, never got to see it. I feel hungry. Apparently, wonder what I can eat. We see anything on here that looks like edible? Mmm, lava. I mean, a corpse? Can we eat that? Again, no instruction manual, so it's hard to uh, to guess at the mindset. It's hard to guess at the mindset of anybody who puts an abortion chair <laughs> as decor in their game, but uh, it's hard to guess what he was thinking in terms of what you can eat. As of yet, I haven't seen... Sp- if it says, like, here's an apple, I'll be like, okay. Mankind's original sin is still delicious and nutritious. Still no, oh, there's the stairs, okay. Yeah. Um, I am not seeing the things I want to see, i.e. foods. I'm just going to make it for the stairs, I guess? What is this about shadow? Look above wielding and it says shadow. What do you think that means? Wouldn't mind a... Some form of instruction. Up. As you go higher, you regain some more of humanity. That's good. That's a good thing, I assume. No, nothing about eating here. At all. Um, Alright, well, what else? Uh, stairs are not readily ev- evident. Um... Spoon. Let's just kill this dude. 
Yeah, our, our our stats disappeared there after we killed him. I'm not sure what what's going on. A few bugs in the game, but this is the seven day roguelike version. I have no idea if he ever worked on it again since, but unless somebody whoops, unless somebody has a uh, a copy of the game out there still uh, of a more modern version, this is likely all we're ever going to find. And thank, I'm I'm actually very very grateful to have found it at all. What is this? A soul Eater. That sounds dangerous. Um, I've, I've commented before, using the dark color blue. I mean, who am I saying this to? People who made games a decade plus ago. But in case you time travel and hear me tell you about your game, don't use dark blue as a, you know, as a, as a, f a color for your letters because it doesn't show up well uh, in gameplay or in recording. More to the point. What is that dude? Looks like a pukelman. A goat demon. That's cool. Soul eater. Uh, yeah, unless I see specific food, I'm just gonna go for the fucking stairs. Our, our, we're down to 48 health. Let's just go up. 44 health. I don't see food. Maybe if I killed the goat demon, I could eat it. I could try... The next time we kill an imp, I'll try getting the corpse and see if that uh, does anything. Let's kill one right now. Imp dies. Seeing your enemy fall strengthens your spirit and body. Interesting. Let's try a get. But there's nothing! There's a corpse, man. There's the stairs right there. Again, are we just charging? I have no idea how many levels there are either. I wonder if it's, um, you know, classic Dante's Nine Circles of Hell. In which case, we're more than halfway. And doing fine. I still feel hungry. There's a ghost somewhere. Ghost. What does that mean? Or, or soul eater. We saw the word shadow before, and we see the word ghost. Maybe that's what I am. Maybe that's. Maybe I started off as whatever the hell that said there originally. I didn't see what it said in the first level. I'll have to watch the recording later. Uh, maybe I was that, and now I'm. Now I'm a ghost, and I'm slowly becoming more human. Let's find out when we go to the next level. Is it just instantly yep now we're an apparition I think that's what it is I think that's denoting our status when it says all man baby well no we made it there's a spoon not seeing anything to eat maybe, maybe you maybe you just have maybe it's your time limit like you have to get out of hell before you starve I don't know scourge that sounds... Dang. I assume that's a monster. I don't know. I mean, for all I know, that's a, something you pick up, right? I mean, this is furniture. Squirt, or maybe it's a... I don't know. Like a, a set of whips. I don't know what that means. We've gone up to level 5. It feels like we should have a better weapon by now. Potentially. It is a little hard to find yourself. Uh, given it's a red um, at symbol on a, you know, a, a clustered level full with red shit. It's a little hard to find you. But, find us I did. Hellhound attacks you. Oh, that's what that is. Interesting. Okay. Let's ignore it, because we're escaping. My spirit is weakened. So says I'm 100. I'm just freaking climbing, man. Now we are a wraith. Uh, it seems to make sense to me as a, as a, a method of escape, but I don't know, a fiend no less. Uh, not seeing a better weapon. Still looking at a piked dildo as our uh, the pinnacle of our arsenal. Don't see the stairs yet, which is a little frightening given, every, given everything that's coming at us. Let's dodge up this way. Kill the imp. You attack imp, soul eater steps into lava and is burned, imp dies, goat demon dies, seeing your enemy fall, strengthens your spirit and body. Imp steps into lava and is burned. Good. Oh, so hit points 7 out of 10. Look at that. So what was that number you're seeing? Oh, spirit and hit points. Interesting. All right, here's my new, my new bit of guesswork. It talked about our spirit strengthening. We did see our spirit get weakened as we got hurt. And we have the number 136. 
But above that, we have hit points. I wonder if we reach the stage in our reattainment of humanity where we have not only our spirit, but our actual corporeal form. And in there, we are very weak right now. We only have seven hit points. I wonder if that's the case. I'm going to kill that imp. I did, and we it did, it did aid our, our health. Look at that. I went up to eight. Do we, do we, let's take a look here. I know it's a fiend, but was, is it standing on lava? I can't remember. I think it is. Like if we attack it, is it going to continue to burn? Burn, baby, burn. You attack fiend, fiend dies. Imp dies, you hear a pain to cry. Killed that dude and went up to ten. Getting, does nothing, getting, there's nothing. All right, man, I don't know how the hell we're supposed to eat. Maybe we're just hungry because we're in hell, and, like, being in hell is hungry work. Let's climb. Yes. You can see our hit points went up. I'm not sure if our, our spirit went down or went up. I can't remember. There's the um, exit right there. I see no reason to dally at the moment. We have to kill that guy. Let's kill this guy, too. And let's... Whoa! Okay. Seeing everyone die makes you happy. <laughs> it sounds like I deserve to be an L, frankly. Um Okay, we have a we we are a mummy. That's cool. We're getting we're getting solid, man. Thirty out of thirty, two thirty one hours. Oh, our spirit's still going up too. I thought maybe it wouldn't. Um that's interesting though, eh? That you you have a second set of stats. That's kinda cool. Um Where's the staircase? We see anything? I do not. I do not. Oh, hi, Mark. Um, let's head southwesty. A lot of shit coming at us. More shit than I could shake a stick at, or a pike diddle do at that. What is this thing? my north. Oops. A fiery soul. That sounds like it's going to hurt me. And enjoy it. Um, let's dodge around. So we can get some people lined up, at least. Fiery souls attack. I'm almost dead, man. I think I'm going to die. I'm going to keep attacking the fiery soul. Because if I just try and dodge it, it's going to kill me for sure. Maybe I can kill it? Maybe? And if I do, maybe we'll have a chance. Negative 11 out of 30. I died. How long was that? That was 22 minutes, man. That's probably long enough, but I'm going to try one more time. I'm, I'm going to move with much greater speed now that we uh, at least have an idea what we're doing. All right. Enter my name, I shall. That will be... Adolf. No reason for that name. Just a random name that came to me. Nobody I think is in hell, specifically. Um, okay. Okay. Any spoons? All the cards are gone. Get the fuck out of here. I was thinking it was pretty damned easy until it suddenly became pretty fucking hard. Oh, we already got one of these frickin', um big eyes on us. We need a spoon and we need it now. Where the hell am I? Oh, fuck. Did I step into lava? Am I dead? Somehow my health is going up. My spirit's going up or something, man. Does my spirit go up when I step into fire? I don't know. Maybe I saw them die. Maybe it doesn't hurt me to walk through lava. I don't know. My spirit is weakened. I killed it though. It didn't. Um, it didn't help me. I didn't like gain back any spirit from that. Here comes the spoon. There we go. All right, let's find me the damn stairs. Get me out of here. Best depiction of hell I ever saw. A classic hell I ever saw in a video game was definitely Doom Three. 
that was a game I very much enjoyed, if, you know, initially. Um, but when I got to the hell levels, it wore on me. I got got to a point here. Nice, nice piked dildo for me. Um, I didn't notice again. Did it say one next to the spoon? Tell me. I think so. I um, yeah. By the time I uh, I was finishing that game, like I was ready for it to be done. I really found that place. I I found that such a such a wonderful depiction of it. I, I was raised Catholic, so I have those. Even if I'm now agnostic, I was raised Catholic, so the you know the the imagery of hell still got its childhood hit hooks in me and traumatized me sufficiently that it still you know, can creep me out. Um, so I did find that, uh, that those levels hard to uh, to endure or certainly to enjoy. I don't know if we can cross lava or not, but we don't have to. Well done, Ben. All right, um, there's one of those little hard to see S's right there, but it's in our way. Just confirm for me. There's no other weapon you're seeing, right? We're still stuck with this piece of shit weapon. I assume that's not a wieldable weapon, right? We're not thinking we can pick that up. I guess we should try and pick shit up as we walk by in case... But I'm not going to deviate to a chair and be like, this has got to be better than a, what's clearly a weapon in the game. I have to fight everything. All right, we're still fine, though. There is a chair near that thing. I'm going to... Well, fuck you, S. Soul Eater. You're a pike dildo eater is what you are. I'm going to try and pick this up. I don't think it's going to do anything, but let's just find out. But there's nothing! I see nothing! Uh, just double-checking. This is not... Nope. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's climb. Where are we on this map? Okay, I see us. Um, top right. Whoa, that might be a... A better weapon right here, right? Yes, indeed, a pitchfork. We want that. Can we cross lava, do you think? I mean, uh, logically, I would say no, but we did earlier without much hurt. Maybe we're still enough of a uh, a spirit that we're, like, f flying above it? That's not hurting us in any way. We can go over... I think as long as we are human, or not humanish, not corporeal, I think we can probably cross it. Look at that, we got a pitchfork. Three. Good, okay, yeah. That aspect of the game I quite like. That it just plainly says... How good your weapon is. Not minding this, to be honest. Again, aside from the childish humor, I'm, um... It's interesting. And the difficulty of seeing things, admittedly. is a bit frustrating, but other than that, I'm having fun. Alright. Uh... We get, before I do, let's take a look. I gotta use. You gotta, gotta remember, you gotta use the um, arrow keys to move your look. That's just a spoon. That's pitchfork. Okay, up we go. We are a ghost, so still non-corporeal can still pass over lava. Where the fuck are we? Oh, okay, I see us. Are we seeing any? Man, it's just straining my eyes, man. Um, I could probably make this substantially bigger for myself, but I won't do it again right now. I'll, I'll try afterwards. Um, I'm not seeing anything that looks weapony. Sorry if you're hearing that rustling. The cord is just resting in a weird place. Um, the mic cord. I do find the two different healths, health systems um, very innovative. And the um, the idea that you can you know you start off being able to pass over lava but not later that's unusual as hell. Can we can we the smell of blood gets stronger? What is that about? Can we cross over this? You think? Can't no. You can't enter it. It's just a bl blocks your way. There's a Christmas tree drawn with blood on the wall. <laughs> that's that's disturbing. That's pretty cool. Awkward lights outline you. You're an apparition. Did that change? Is that maybe, maybe when you reach a certain level? Maybe it's not about when you ascend. Maybe ascending gives you a certain amount of quote-unquote experience points, and that's what um, also does it. 
But we just changed, right? We were a ghost a second ago, and now we're an apparition after you killed that thing. Interesting. Actually, not awkward. Awkward. Awkward lights. Damn those awkward lights. Piked dildo, don't want it. I mean, not for a weapon, I don't. Um, I don't see a way out, so I guess we're going this way. I, I'll try and kill the hell. I killed it pretty easy. Hell, I almost got nothing on my pitchfork. Hmm. Imps are easy to kill. So it's pretty interesting. I'm really glad, um... I, I get a, a very special thrill when I find something that's been lost to time. And again, as far as I can tell, this was, because it's not in the... It's not in the archive, at least not as a playable game, so I'll have to ship him this... This Windows app. This Windows executable. Um, I'll drop him a line tonight, if I can remember how to, how to get all of them. Oh, here we go. Here we go, stairs, not here we go, archive RL, down in hell. It was it was cool to climb fast, but like I think we we ran into some problems where we met up with monsters and we couldn't kill fast enough because we didn't do enough damage. So if we have the time, I think we should be doing a little more exploring. I mean, maybe there's nothing else out here. I wouldn't know, but pitchfork is very quintessential. Um, demonic imagery, you know. All right, maybe I will just climb for this one. Oh, we are humanish again, Wraith. Level 7. Uh, then again, actually, uh, now that I think about it, if we're right, and you, uh, you, you you ascend through the different ranks of undeath by gaining experience, maybe... Maybe when it says you gain some humanity, that means like you, you gain experience. But you gain experience for killing things too. So maybe we should, maybe maybe by not sticking around and killing everything, we're we're really condemning ourselves to a to a tougher fight. It's a little late now to, you know, massively retcon what we've done. But um, yeah, the guy was saying hi, H I. But we can do it now. Oh Jesus Christ! Well, we have two health. If we don't go up a level soon. Uh, we are going to be in some major trouble. I'm oh, getting some humanity back, or some some health back. By you feel cold for a moment. Oh, my skeleton! I think I progressed past wraith, wraithdom. I think we were only a wraith. Maybe not. Maybe we were better than the wraith when we uh, finished the game last time. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything weaponish. Weapony, weaponic. There is this. Oh, fuck off. There is this thing. Scourge. Maybe that is a weapon. Let's try and get it. G. Yes, indeed. That's the fourth level weapon. Now, the question. Oh, our health has gone up again. Does it, does it go up over time? Or did I get it because. Yes, yeah, it's gone up over time. Okay, if we just wait here. I don't see any messages about being hungry. Let's go and kill some shit. Which also seems to give us health. Come on over here, F. Killed the fiend in one hit. And the S. I forget what the S was. The succubus. Actually, I'm very surprised it's not a succubus. All right. Um, well, let's just kill off some shit, man. Ouch! That won't heal. Oh, it really won't. Look at our hit points went from twenty to nineteen. I guess the hellhound can do permanent damage. That's interesting, isn't it? Lava or oh, burned? Jesus Christ! Fuck! We almost died there. I forgot we can't cross over that now. All right. Um, we gotta be a little more cautious than we've been. I I don't think we want to. Should we just go up? 
Oh, if it gives us humanity, and so if it gives us sufficient humanity, yes. If it doesn't, then no. And the answer is no. We should not have gone up. I think our safest bet is going to be to remain here. Here, something, something just stepped in that that lava. Soul Eater steps in lava and is burned. That's good. Blub blub boils the oil. Soul Eater dies. As we pass our turn, we'll regain some health, but also we can hopefully get the drop on some of these guys. Nope. I think we died. It suddenly ended. I'm going to call it there. Uh, we got in two plays in 35 minutes. That's pretty good. Um, you know what? <sighs> Childish, yes, but I'm a little intrigued by that. That was kind of fun, and it feels like something that could be beaten. I think we learned a little something something as we played that you that you're gaining experience by killing monsters but you're also gaining experience by going up the stairs and that you can regain health by by waiting that you gain a second set of hit points in the form of actual hit points as opposed to your spirit when you pass a certain threshold of of evolution that when you are pure spirit you can cross over lava but when you are flesh, you should not. Um, and that dildos fit neatly up top pikes. I mean, who knew, right? I think that's about all we learned. Um, I can't think of anything else. But yeah, that's actually kind of a cool game, Nikolaus, from 10 years ago. I'm going to um, probably play that at some point again, just to try and uh, just to try and beat it. It feels like it feels like it could be beaten in a in a prolonged sitting. Um, yeah. So I will include a link to where I got it. It is very deep via the web archive. Or not the web archive, but I mean the Wayback Machine. Um, and I will also throw it over to the archive RL so that that gentleman can uh, incorporate it in the, the big list of treasured and uh, secure roguelikes for all eternity. That's it. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, even if that's in hell. And um, I'm gone. Bye.